The third question of this series is, what's the difference between sexual energy and sexual magnetism? Aren't they the same? And by developing sexual energy, won't you automatically develop sexual magnetism? Well, let's dive deep into this. Simply put, sexual energy is the energy in itself, the way that it's flowing inside of yourself. Sexual magnetism is the projection of this energy, of this sexual energy, to the outside world. The Charisma School work on sexual energy as mainly two different phases. The first phase is the discovery or development of sexual energy. In this, in this phase, in the discovery and development, we are mainly first discovering experientially what is sexual energy, actually feeling it inside of yourself, and then removing the blocks that are making it hard for the energy to flow, while increasing the quality and quantity of the sexual energy flowing inside of yourself. Over time, most people who don't have a lot of sexual energy create physically, emotional, mental, energetic blocks inside of them that are stopping the energy to flow as it should. In other words, when some sexual urge comes to them, regardless of when or how the energy is not allowed to circulate freely inside the body, there are blocks stopping it to circulate. This can be related to sexual problems like impotence or premature ejaculation, but not necessarily. You can have sexual energy blocks and never develop a true sexual problem. Sometimes the blocks only manifest themselves during the attraction phase where you are trying to seduce someone, but the sexual energy must be hold on tight inside of yourself without allowing to flow freely. Which is not so easy, but people do it every day. If you are trying to seduce a woman, but you are trying hard for her not to notice your sexual intentions, or you don't want to be obvious about it, then, most likely, you are repressing the sexual energy, creating blocks somewhere in your body. This way, the sexual energy is contained. This is done unconsciously, obviously, since most people are not truly aware of the energies moving inside of themselves. And by trying to restrict this sexual energy during a seduction process, you are actually doing yourself a disservice. As many seducers over the ages have discovered, a good seduction must have sexual energy freely moving during the whole process. It must be allowed to circulate. If it's restricted, then the seduction is much harder to go ahead. And this is what causes awkwardness, shyness, not knowing what to say, anxiety, among other problems in talking with women. When the sexual energy is moving naturally during the whole process, everything just flows as it should and is much more pleasant, both for you and the other person. These sexual energy blocks are a problem for both men and women, no differentiation there, and as such, the first priority is always to untie these knots and allow the sexual energy to move freely in all kinds of situations. In the projection phase, we are developing our own ability to externalize this energy. In other words, making those around us feel our sexual energy and create some sort of sexual effect in them. This also allows you to decrease your sexual energy in case you want to lay low, so to speak. But you can increase your sexual magnetism overall, meaning your ability to generally project this energy 24-7 without any conscious effort. Or you can develop techniques for laser-targeted interventions, just like a sniper. You use different techniques to elicit sexual energy in the person that you are trying to actively seduce. Either way, it's fine. I usually recommend the development of a general sexual magnetism while understanding and using the other kind of techniques. You can also increase your sexual magnetism overall in one specific occasion. This increases tenfold your sexual magnetism within a limited time period. I recommend this technique before going to a party or somewhere else where you want to increase your attraction levels. But doesn't this energy get felt anyway without magnetism techniques? Can't you just develop the sexual energy and be done with it? And yes, you can. It's all up to how far you want to go. Just discovering and developing your sexual energy is already a great step up to increase your attractiveness levels. And for most people, it's enough if they just want to find a girlfriend, for example. By identifying, discovering and allowing this energy to run free inside of yourself, you'll naturally transmit it to the outside world. Especially as you change your mind quality to a sexual one, which is another concept that we discuss in Charisma School. Yet, some people might want more and especially more control on how and to who you transmit this energy, as well as using it for one specific person, instead of a generalized use, which might not have a good effect on one specific person. Hence, the need for the sexual magnetism training. You can achieve a much greater control over your own energy projection. So we created two courses that work specifically with these two phases I just explained. The first phase, the discovery and development of sexual energy, gets worked on a sexual energy mastery training. 
It uses a specific and innovative process to help you discover sexual energy and allow it to move freely inside of your own body. The second training is a sexual magnetism, which works mostly in the projection of this energy with specific techniques to exteriorize and use this energy for specific applications, laser targeted or increasing your own overall magnetism. For more information and the rest of this series, a frequent newsletter on these topics and more training course on sexual energy, personal magnetism, charisma and magnetic gaze, visit charismaschool.com.